Yo, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. This might be the best Dodge Hornet commercial that Dodge has never filmed. Straight up and down. Like, Dodge doesn't need to film anything else for the Hornet. They just need to put this police chase up. And I guarantee you people will trade in their V6 Charger, Challenger, Durango, Jeep, all that stuff, and go get a Hornet. This thing was moving. 120, 125, 130 on the highway, in and out of traffic, creating major distance between the Hornet and the police, and then decides that he wants to go off-road. Takes the Hornet off-road, still distance between him and the ASP. I'm telling you, this Hornet was moving. And the best thing about it, the dude got away. Straight up and down, in the Hornet. You need to watch this video. Before you go out and buy yourself a GT or SE, Charger, Challenger, Durango, Jeep, whatever, you might want to watch this Dodge Hornet video. It may change your mind. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell them the house that makes it a house vlog. You know how it's going down when I come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets. Anything and everything car-related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. You're in the right place for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So I know I've been hitting you guys with a lot of police chase videos recently. My Hellcat, let's just say, is getting some work done. And I'm not going to have it till probably next week, mid next week. It's getting some work done. Trust me when I say that. So I haven't been able to pull the cat out or do anything with it because I don't actually have it. It's not even in my state at this point. But trust me, when I get it back, we're going to have some fun with it. But until then, let's get into these videos, man. Shout out the Hot Pursuits uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Go watch the original video. I guarantee you when this video is over, you're going to want to trade in your V6 whatever and go get a Dodge Hornet. Trust me when I say that. Mark my words. A little bit more. All right, so boom. The cop is doing 101. There's the Hornet right there. So clearly the Hornet's speeding, but he haven't lit him up yet. Yep, so as soon as the Hornet put the signal on, that's when he got lit up. It's a chase now. You may not be able to tell, but the Hornet is accelerating. So it is a chase at this point. Sword. You know that's a Dodge Durango, uh, a Dodge Hornet. It's a Colorado Look at that thing moving. That's a Hornet, y'all. At 111. Definitely a Dodge Hornet, y'all. And then we're back on the highway. It's pulling too. Even a Camaro can't keep up with that Hornet. Yeah. 
Taking that turn at 90 miles an hour in a Dodge Hornet. Let's go. One twenty one. One twenty five. One twenty six. That Hornet's got to be doing one thirty straight up and down. is catching them. So they're reading the license plate. So it's over at this point. That cop has got them. 128. Cop is reading the license plate, so the chase is pretty much over. Cause they're gonna come back and get them later on. In the rain too? Look, they got cops right there. Too late, too slow. Look at your boy going off road. Road closed, not for the drain, not for the hornet. that hornet bruh look at the distance that hornet is creating see charges the challengers they can't do that you can't go off-road in a charger or a challenger where's the durango at where's the hornet at i keep wanting to say durango where's the hornet your boy took off on foot this car is struggling in this uh area So we're gonna fast forward a little bit. I didn't see the description of the mail. Nobody's in the car. Took off northbound from the vehicle. Buddy is from gone. My location. Let's fast forward a little bit. The dog out. You can see the flashlights over here. They're getting them now. And they got the dog. Ocean Charles 35. DTO C35. I was like trying to say notify Springdale and then I passed the one sitting right there at the. It looked like a male. It looks like a male. They don't know. Still looking for your boy. Looks like 
like he possibly could have had a light colored sweatshirt on. Look at all the lightning in the background. That dude is gone. I, I like literally just it looks like she's explaining to her uh, lieutenant that uh, she lost her. Still looking for your boy. All right, it's over. They couldn't find that dude. They could not find that motherfucker. All right, he was gone. Uh, let me read the situation here. Uh, prepare for high speed, blah, 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 blah. Trooper Benham spotted a red Dodge Hornet speeding past her on I-49, accelerating to over 120 miles an hour. That's not true. That thing was definitely at 130. As she attempted to initiate a traffic stop, the driver later identified as so-and-so-and-so, -and -so -and -so, weaved across lanes, red, uh, ran red lights, and took sharp turns onto rural roads, pushing the chase to its limits. Um, so he's getting charged with... Uh, uh, facing charges including felony fleeing, reckless driving, and more. They just said and more. Okay, here it is. Charges, felony fleeing, reckless driving, speeding. So the only thing that's really going to stick is that felony fleeing. That that's this is a felony. That that's why it says felony fleeing because it's a felony. But red Dodge Hornet. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It may be time to trade in those uh, SXTs, them SEs. You know, the uh, Jeep uh, Limiteds. Uh, Overlands, you know what I'm saying? Durango, V6s. And it may be time to go ahead and jump on the Hornet train. You know, because you can do much more with a Hornet than you can a Charger or Challenger. No Charger or Challenger is going off-road like that Hornet did at the end of the chase. I'll be honest with you. I did not think a Hornet was pushing 130 like that and still being able to move in and out of traffic on the highway. That thing was moving. Now, what I will say about the Trooper is the Trooper, I don't think the Trooper was driving a 5.7. I don't even think the trooper was driving a Charger, period. I think they were driving a Ford, what is it, uh, Ford Taurus, one of the new ones or whatever. So, I mean, Ford Taurus, I think they got like a 3.5 or 3.4 engine. So, there's, you know, that's pretty much one-to-one -one right there. If it was a 5.7 Hemi, it would have been on its ass, but it wasn't. So, this was a legitimate chase. And that Hornet was pulling on the trooper. So, if you got a Dodge Hornet or if you want to get a Dodge Hornet, this video right here should convince you. Go get that Dodge Hornet. Let, matter of fact, let's see what the Dodge Hornets are doing right now. Let's see what kind of power the Dodge Hornets are putting down. Dodge Hornet. Nope, not Charger. I type in Charger so much it popped up automatically. Build and price a Hornet. All right, let's do just that. Let's go with the RT+. Plus. I'm assuming that's the one with the... Uh, I don't know what kind of damn engine it's got in it. RT plus, blah, 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 blah. So you can get you a 1.3 liter inline four turbo. Um, I forgot what PHEV stands for. Uh, I know what it, I, I should know. Engine, um, 288 horsepower, damn. <laughs> Six speed automatic transmission, yada, yada, yada. 288 horsepower, oh Lord. With that kind of power, how would you even be able to control such an automobile, such a machine? And then, of course, the RT, RT, I think it's the same thing. 288 horsepower. Yeah. So, 288 horsepower is a lot of damn horsepower. Straight up and down, apparently. You know what I mean? Because that, that Hornet was pulling. So, listen. I'll put it to you like this. If you were in the market for a Dodge Hornet, but you were curious about the power and the performance, this video right here should be able to change your mind. Go get that Dodge Hornet. Leave that Charger SC or that Challenger SC because you can't go off-road in a Challenger like this, you know? You can't do this. You can't have five of your homeboys in the car and then have a 50-inch a TV in the back, in the, you know, in the trunk like you can with a Dodge Hornet. You can't do that in a Challenger. You can't even do that in a Charger, you know? So leave that Charger Challenger stuff alone. Let's go get that Hornet, right? Don't be surprised if I trade in my Hellcat for a Dodge Hornet. Or if I trade in my T-Rex for a Hornet, how about that? Let's bring a Dodge Hornet to the channel. I'll be the first YouTuber with a thousand horsepower Dodge Hornet. Although I'm sure somebody's probably already done that. But nah, man, it's for real. Shout out to the Hornet boys, man. Nobody got hurt. This is one of those clean chases where nobody, you know, no property was damaged. Nobody was injured, you know. Uh, the dude eventually did get caught, you know, taking off on foot. But uh, shout out to the Hornet. I never thought I would see a Dodge Hornet in a high-speed police chase with Arkansas State Police, but I guess you never know 
what you'll see on the internet, man. But as always, like, subscribe, comment. It's your boy, Knockout360. It may be time to switch this channel over to a Dodge Hornet channel. I don't know. You tell me. Peace.